Hi. Imagine that I have this list here with the vehicles, colors, and animals. And I want to make a list or a drop down, or maybe you can call combo box, to, so people can choose between this list here. So my list is going all the way from A2 to C5. I don't count my header on this, on this list but I'm going to use them because I'm going to say my list is A to all the way to C5 and use the heading so it's going to look for the for the cells on top of it to make the headings okay so once I got this I'm going to go to my Visual Basic Developers tab and then Visual Basic and here I'm going to search a user form and with this user form I'm going to start with the drop down. Now I'm going to start with the list. It's going to be the same, the list or drop down. So I can use here a list box or a drop down. And I'm going to write this so you won't forget. So let me get a label. Let me put a label on top of it. Let me write um, list box or combo box, which is my drop down drop down okay so once, once I have this and just get my letter a little bit bigger like this I'm gonna click on my list box and I'm gonna search for the following pro properties I'm going to go to um, I'm gonna look for row source which is gonna be the source for my list box I'm also going to search for um, count, column count, column count, bound column, and I have another one which is, let me just check the name of it, it's going to be the header something, wow, role source, and I have mouse pointer, match entry, enable, headers, columns, column headers, column heads, column heads. So this is it, column heads. So these are the most important properties of list box and drop downs. There is another one which is match entry. That's more used on drop down, and I'm gonna tell talk to you about this later okay so these are the mains let me just clear these out here make it simple like the rest of them okay so my real source is going to be uh, my spreadsheet plum one exclamation mark a2 all the way to uh, c5 so this is going to be my source of data okay and you probably have sheet one here instead of plum one because mine is in Portuguese. Okay, so let me just get this. Let me just go get it. So my row source is going to be plum two plum one exclamation mark a two all the way to c five. And when I click out, it's going to populate the list here with my act with my data. But notice that it only got the column, the first column, okay? But now I need to go on column counts and make it equals to three. And then I got the three columns. So I'm gonna say column count is equal to three because I'm gonna get the three columns here, all right? Now, the, the bound column, will, will, I will choose the bound column related to the answer that I want. So if I want the vehicles, I would say bound column is equal to one. If I want the colors, I would say bound column is equal to two. And if I want the animals is the third column, I would say bound column is three. On, on this case, I'm going to choose uh, two for bound column. So bound column is going to be colors. So that's what I want. If I click on bike, I actually want gray. If I click on plane, I actually want right, red. So that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so let me just go to... Um, click on my list and then I'm going to go to bound column I'm going to choose two and I'm going to column heads and I'm going to click true 
and I got the heads here. All right, so my list is ready. I can press play. Okay, click on my user form and press play, and I can choose one of these items here. Okay, but now I want to get the answer, and I want to display the answer somewhere in my spreadsheet. So I'm going to say here, I'm going to write this is the answer. This is the answer. And I'm going to state that the I'm gonna make a button. Oh we got lost for a little bit. So I'm going to make a button here. And I could say this okay. And I'm gonna double click on this button here to get the macro related to this button. So I can see now the user form and my macro button. And with this I can say well, uh, on range, which cell was that again? On cell F8, so I'm going to write range F8. Put the results of the list box 1. This is it. That's the only code I need. So I'm going to press play. And let me just get this down here. Let me show my Excel. So if I choose bike, Actually, I, I'm, since my bounce column is 2, I'm going to get the answer, answer from the column 2, which is gray. And I got gray. And if I click here, red. And if I click here, blue. So this is it. All right. Well, this is working with a list. But if you're working with drop down, you can also, instead of looking for and clicking on it, you can write the name of it. So, for example, if I click B, it's going to search for bike or boat. Okay, but what if I choose vessel, something that's not here? Well, if I choose something that's not here, uh, I have a, a property called match entry, and I can set it to true. And this will tell the this tool not to accept any entry that's not one of these four entries. So if I click, see if I write vessel, it would say no, it does not exist. You can't do that. Okay. That doesn't work on my list, but it works on a drop down where I can write the name of the vehicle that I'm looking for. So this is the example. I hope you liked it and I see you next time.